Hello everyone, it's me, Scary Ruffle, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to try doing a Reddit video, because I've never done one before, so this is going to be a new sensation. Also try new camera angles and stuff, find out what works. But anyway, today we're going to be looking at r slash insane people Facebook. I don't quite know what to expect on this, but... Shall we just go into it? Okay, so the next post we got is this post on Facebook. And it says, only a big fan of Jesus can share this post. To which, to which, somebody has responded with, thanks Rose, you don't answer my question though. Wanna fuck? People! Right, and we found the next one. It's, if you can't work 16 hour shifts, seven days a week, you are a loser who doesn't deserve free time or money. This kind of really annoys me because everyone works differently in different jobs. There's no context here. For example, does he sit in an office all day? Does he do YouTube? Does he stream? Because each one is hard. But if you're manually grafting, lifting things, and like, I'm talking about proper, real, manual labour jobs, I do not think people could do this myself, but that's just me. Because, as it's said, the most productive you can be in a day is five hours, and then you need a break. And it's also part of the law over here, I'm pretty sure. But... So this really bugs me because this has probably come from someone who like owns a company, for example, and just sits there doing nothing at all, ever. And he's like, oh, this is easy. Why can't everyone else do this? And that's just my opinion. So, yeah. If you can do 16-hour shifts seven days a week, let me know below how easy it is and what breaks do you get? you get what i mean because i would love to hear off people about how they work and their jobs and how easy they find it because as i found that a lot of it is mental strength rather as well as physical strength because if you're in a negative place to work it's really hard to stay there whereas if it's really 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 hard physical labor i can actually put up with that more than if it's a negative place but again my opinion the United States have upped their game in their terrorist hunt and their war on terror. Have a look at this. Well, the United States is getting really smart at catching terrorists. Do you seek to engage in terrorist activities in the United States or something? No. If terror, if in brackets, terrorist, yes, explain. I do not, I just, why, why are people dumb, why, it's, this is, this is painfully stupid, the next one we got is, judging a bit more on the feminist route, Jesus, this is getting political up in this house, but no, this post is, I don't know from, but it says, Married women should stop posting beautiful pics of themselves. Why are you advertising goods that are no longer in stock? What a way to objectify women. But, at the end of the day, it's their Facebook and they can post where the hell they want. If you post a photo of yourself, doesn't affect me in the slightest. It's your Facebook, you want to show your friends your life, be my guest. I don't care. Like, and this is just... This is just a prick. Like, right, just because... I don't know. Somebody doesn't want to let you into their goods. Or plunder their booty. And the next verse we got is called... Every relationship needs boundaries. I am rewriting my list of rules for my husband. I was told my first lot was a bit harsh. What do you think of these? Honest opinions, please, as I really want to be fair. Is there any more I should add? One. 
Do you have female friends? Two. No social media. Three. No male friends with partners. Must be single males only. Four. Must work minimum of 50 hours a week. Wow, what a dick. Five. No smoking. Well, I guess I'm out. Oh, how I am so gutted. Six. Can only drink. What? Can drink, but only two times a year or less and not get drunk. Jesus Christ, is this prison? Seven. No PlayStation slash game machines. Wow, oh, she sounds like a bundle of fun. Eight. No porn. Nine. Nine. Must keep the house clean at all times. And finally, number 10. No going out without me. If you're like this, just stop. No. Because I get there's parts where you're like, hmm, I know exactly what I want. I want this, and I want this, and I want this. It's fine, you can do that. But you cannot dictate to someone what they can and cannot fucking well do. Because that's just bullshit. People! Oh, oh my god. The next person got is, haha, I hate my wife. <laughs> Fucking hell! And the first is this. My wife yelling at me about spending more, more money on my truck. Me! Wondering why the dishwasher is talking. Fucking hell. Wow. The next person we're going to look at is, why would you share this for the world to see? It's It, it says, I'm so done with men. I'm in a committed relationship with my vibrator. I guess you could say things are getting pretty serious between us. To hell with dick. I don't need dick, bitch. Dick bitch. I got a vibrator. And there's the photo. Do I need to say anything else about this? And now on to a more relevant sort of meme, I guess. If you didn't know, on Saturday, KSI defeated Logan Paul in a very entertaining match because I stayed up and watched it. I did do a video on it, but copyright. I was I was sort of risking it. I was throwing the dice of it, trying my was. But this is one of those times where heroes shine brightest. Because not everyone could afford or didn't want to pay £10 to watch KSI vs Logan. A nice gentleman found a really, really, really weird way around it. And this man is... I don't know who this man is. Because it doesn't say on it. But this man... Bought the pay-per-view or streamed it legally, I'm unsure. But what he did to avoid copyright on YouTube is he filmed himself. So you're probably wondering, what's this got to do with KSI vs Logan? And this man illegally streamed the Logan Paul vs KSI fight to 11k viewers off the reflection of his glasses. What a legend. And yes, that is incredible. That man was just... He just knew exactly what to do. And to be fair, fair play to him because that's called being creative. The next post we found is called Saw a group on... Saw a group posted on Facebook. Sorry to repose it, but what the fuck? Sorry, do ETF. Who parents this way? This is incredible. This is actually incredible. I'll just show you. He threw a piece of bread at me, so I flipped his dumb ass over. Fuck them kids. <laughs> and then there's the picture of the very, very distraught child. Would you pair in this way? <laughs> Oh my god! This one's just called Hello! 
I, I, I didn't. I just. I just. I just. I, just people in general just baffle me. There's this picture of this little cute cat on a little walker, and he's looking very, very happy with himself. However, I think he's super sexy. <laughs> you think he's what? Oh, people. Okay, this next one is a little longer, but the WTF factor is through the bloody roof. Like, it is insane. This, this is what this Reddit was made for. It's called The Family Tree. My grandma is pregnant. She's only 46, so we were pretty excited at first. But now she's claiming my husband is the father. I don't know what to do. He does spend a lot of time helping her, uh, helping at the house. I can't believe he'd plow my granny. <laughs> anyway, we have to wait a few months for the paternity test. If it, if it's his, would the baby be my aunt, uncle, and stepchild? Wait, what? It's also noting that my husband is both my brother and my uncle, and my grandma is his grandma too, and also his ex-girlfriend. I'm not really sure what to do. No, this is not a stupid joke. This is serious, so please refrain from rude responses. I say, I I'm done. I'm done with the internet today. Just... I'm done. I'm done.